Well, for the second year in a row, Allen County government is being honored by the Association of Indiana Counties with its County Achievement Award. This year, Allen County is being recognized for its efforts in developing and implementing its strategic plan. Uh, Allen County Commissioner Nelson Peters has been at the forefront of uh, helping with the development and implementation of the plan. He serves on the uh, executive committee that drew up the plan, and he joins us now. And it's quite an honor for Allen County. It is, Mike. First of all, thanks for having me today. It's something that we've looked at for uh, a good part of the last five years, and we culminated with the completion, I think the first one in the state, of this program uh, last year and so to be recognized by the Association of Indiana Counties is is uh, very very uh, honorable. Now we've talked about this plan on previous shows but for the benefit of those who may just be hearing about it for the first time explain a little bit about uh, why this plan was uh, brought to reality. What, uh, what this plan really tries to do is connect all of the moving parts in, in county government, uh, ties the vision that various departments have to overall goals that have been established for the county as a whole, uh, and then compels the various departments and elected officials to put the monetary pieces in the appropriate slots to ensure that we've got something that going forward we know we can rely on. What it does is it gives us a snapshot of what people envision things to look like in 2011, 2012, and 2013. Now, we've had about, uh, well, let's say the vast majority of departments and uh, elected offices in Allen County government uh, are participating in this. Yeah, they are. I think most of them uh, understand the, the real benefit of this, the real benefit of developing a plan from a departmental perspective, and the advantages of moving it forward in sort of a calculated manner. Now, the plan has been developed. It's on paper, it's online where people can read it, but the uh, executive committee that worked on this continues to meet. Uh, what's the purpose of their meetings going forward now? Purpose is really twofold. One is to try and provide uh, assistance to those departments who may not yet be, be getting it. Uh, and the other, the other portion is really to continue to guide the plan. Um, it's easy to create a plan and then put it on the shelf and forget about it. We don't want that to happen with this plan in Allen County. It's far too important in terms of guiding the principles of Allen County government to just let it sit somewhere. So they continue to push um, on a monthly basis to ensure its longevity. And this is to be, in essence, a living, breathing document changing uh, with the times as well. It really is. Part of what you do when you craft a plan like this is you de develop alternatives for when you hit the stoplight that allow you to go left or allow you to go right, that allow you other alternatives in terms of accomplishing what it is that you've set out to do. And you see this as uh, an opportunity to, to share information with other counties and, and let them in on the process and how it may be beneficial for them? I do, and I think the AIC does too. Um, when you look at strategic planning, you know, it's, it's not glamorous. Uh, there's not a lot of glitter to it, but I think it's essential when you want to move a business forward. I think in part the AIC has recognized that in hopes of perhaps getting other counties who aren't currently doing it on board with the process of planning. And they were in town recently to do some uh, videotaping uh, in order to get that message across. Yeah, they were. We are going to receive the award, uh, I think, up at the Blue Chip Casino uh, in Michigan City on uh, September 28th of this year. And they come in and they do some film so that they can do a, a really nice presentation uh, at, at that event. Uh, so they were here to really sort of uh, get that message uh, put together so they can get it out to the rest of the counties at that event. Karen Avery is the Director of Communications with the Association of Indiana Counties. And Karen, before we talk about uh, the award that Allen County will be receiving, uh, explain for some of the folks who may not be familiar with AIC uh, what the organization does and how it works with Indiana Counties. We are a local government adv advocacy organization. We have our board is consists of several different county elected offices. Uh, I, I probably won't name all of them here, but pretty much everybody except for prosecutors, sheriffs, and judges that are elected on the countywide level, auditors, assessors, 
um, coroners, clerks, commissioners, all of the row offices are representative on our board. So we work with all of those groups to determine overall policies that we're going to look really pr pursue at the statewide level. But we, we really are advocates for local offices and we work um, in terms of uh, helping to educate them about the different laws that are passed. One year, a couple of years ago, there were 55 bills that were passed that impacted county government on some level. A lot of those were bills which our people advocated for, but as you know, county elected office holders, they've got a lot going on at the local level, so they need a group that is able to really follow and then educate them about that. Secondary, we do professional development. We've got a program called the AIC Diploma Program. We work with Ivy Tech and we educate county officials on more broad issues, that would affect a lot of offices, communications. Um, we do, we'll do one that's talking about what's going to come up at the state house. We do a big two-day program on budgeting, so we get a lot of council and commissioners, really all offices. But that's a lot of professional development. Those are the two main areas: professional development and advocacy. Okay. Now, the award that Allen County will be receiving at the end of September is the County Achievement Award. Uh, tell us a little bit about the significance of that award and, and how it rec what it recognizes the county for. Um, the County Achievement Award is given to a county that has really achieved, obviously through its name, a significant uh, feat. Um, and again, it can, it can, it can vary uh, depending on the size of the county, but. Um, in the past, we've, like you've won for a strategic award. Uh, we've given awards out for GIS programs, things that maybe other counties haven't really accomplished so far. And with a strategic award, for instance, we've not really seen a lot of that on the um, county level. I, I know that some of that is going on, but not formally. So really, we this was important to to show other counties that you can be working together and you really have to in economic times such as these where budgets are becoming more and more dependent on each other. But we look for leadership, we look for something that's, that's unique and something that can be maybe passed on to other counties that they can, you're serving as a model to them. As you mentioned, the strategic plan is one of those things that uh, really other counties can look at and perhaps use the process and exactly as Allen County's followed it or they can uh, tailor it to their own particular needs. Uh, that really is something AIC does is sh it's like a uh, best practices and ideas sharing group. Exactly and we're trying to encourage more of that not just between county offices but between other local units of government as I mentioned I mean county just changes at the state level budgets are tight but they're becoming more and more dependent on each other so not only do should the uh, commissioners and the auditors be talking, but the county in general needs to be talking with the schools and there just needs to be more and more cooperation to really serve citizens in the way that they need to be served. As economic times become tougher, that's going to become even more of a necessity. Karen Avery, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here in town and uh, thanks to AIC for the recognition. You're welcome. It's nice to be here. Thank you.